Sunita Williams is stranded in space until 2025. What was meant to be just a 10-day mission for the NASA astronaut is now turned into a long journey of uncertainty instead. Health risks are mounting as they wait for a solution to the glitches in a Boeing Starliner. Here's more. Sunita Williams stranded in space till 2025 and there are serious concerns now about her health. The NASA astronaut will in all likelihood come back to Earth only in February 2025. After her ride to space, the Boeing Starline developed technical issues. What was meant to be a seven-day journey has become a long wait in space now. And this long stay in space could have serious repercussions on William's health, both physical and mental. Experts worry that Sunita would suffer from bone weakness and be exposed to high radiation for long periods of time. And needless to say, the mental effects of being in space for so many months is also a concern. Anxiety and loneliness, experts opine, could kick in. It's not just Sunita but also Butch Wilmore who's currently stranded and they will have to count on each other to keep spirits up. Although the International Space Station, a $150 billion flying laboratory above Earth, is well equipped with living facilities, sleeping quarters and even a gym, an artificial environment away from the protection of the home planet is always challenging, as shown by Sunita herself years ago. You actually have sort of the bird's eye view of where Butch's eyes were. Right now on the display we actually have a tablet because while we're in the space station we're doing some other activities on the tablet. We also have controls to fly the spacecraft. We have a rotational hand controller and actually behind the camera might be a little bit hard is a translational hand controller and that's how we uh, were able to fly the spacecraft. Three red flags arise. The high radiation levels in space, in one week, Sunita will be exposed to one year's worth of radiation on Earth and in some parts the radiation in space is 30 times higher than on Earth. Second is bone weakness due to months of zero gravity which means more exertion on bones and muscle. This can lead to serious risk of injury and Sunita will have to be doubly careful. And finally, mental health issues. Considering Sunita was scheduled for a seven-day journey to space, that's now become completely unpredictable. Interestingly, Sunita Williams is currently going round the Earth at a speed of 27,000 kilometers per hour. And so, in a matter of eight months, when she starts her return back to Earth, she will be 0.01 seconds younger than anyone on Earth born at the exact time and date as her. NASA is now doing everything they can to figure out Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore's homecoming and let's hope the return happens at the earliest. Bureau Report, India Today.